Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we look at the Chunky plugin. So, as the name would suggest, this plugin is to do with chunks and it allows you to have more control over pre generating them. And there's quite a few things you can do with this plugin, so let's just jump into it. So, if we do for slash chunky help, that's going to show us all of the commands. So, let's go ahead and start our own generation. So, if we do for slash chunky start, and then we are going to choose the world we're going to use, which is going to be world. We're going to choose the shape, so let's do a circular generation, and then we are going to put the coordinates so zero zero of where it will begin and then the radius so a thousand so that is going to start it around the zero zero location of a radius a thousand and it's going to start loading those chunks now what we could do is chunky pause world and that will uh, pause it we can do chunky continue for world and then you can do chunky cancel and if you do the cancel command, then you have to confirm it. Now a useful command is the chunky spawn command. So that will change the location of the center. So now if you do more chunk generation, it will be about this point I just set. And then we can change the radius using a few different methods. So we could do chunky radius and we could do a thousand blocks, for example. We could do 10,000 by putting 10K. We could do 600C, which is 600 chunks. And we could even increase it by 10,000 by doing plus 10K on top of what it is. So up to 11,000 now. Now, if you want to set back to the vanilla world border, you can do the chunky world border command, and that's going to change the center back and then change the radius back to 29 million or whatever it is originally in the vanilla world. And another way of selecting a region is by using the corners command. This is where you choose two X and Z coordinates. So we could do maybe a thousand, two thousand, and then negative a thousand, negative two thousand, hit enter. And that is going to change the shape as well to a rectangle now from a circle. And it's gonna move the center to zero as well. You can also change the shape from circle, diamond ellipse, hexagon. And this plugin also works well with the chunky borders plugin, which will prevent it from going any more than that. And then we have the chunky pattern command. So there's a few here you can choose from how the uh, chunks actually generate. So do you want it to start in and go outwards? Or do you want it to do a loop or start from one side? So there's a few options here. So another useful command is the chunky trim command. So this will delete any chunks outside of whatever you specify. So we could do world, we could do circle, and then obviously choose the center coordinates and then how many blocks we can do 10k for example and obviously that is going to delete lots of things so make sure you have a backup and if you do you can hit confirm and then that's obviously going to delete those chunks but they're not loaded anyway let's see if we can find some to delete and bring it down to a thousand 29 chunks were deleted so here we are on the modrant page rather than spigot this is where you can download chunky for free and as you can see, we've got lots of commands here. If you were to go to one of these, it will bring up the wiki and you can see if you use the chunky border plugin, you can have different world shapes, even a triangle, which is rather interesting, or a star and keep it like that. So you'd have to use them in tandem. And obviously Dynamap is going to show these a lot better than in game. Obviously this plugin isn't for everyone, but if you're looking for something to control your chunks, this is a fantastic free plugin for it. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.